Hi guys, this is my latest video vlog on being a great mentor. It's something different, something um, I haven't talked about before actually, and it's something new that I thought a lot of other bloggers haven't talked about. Um, and it's about, this one specifically, about being a great mentor as well, which I think is essential. Um, I just wanted to say as well, before I go any further, that I'm really enjoying the video blogging process at the moment for a couple of reasons. One, with the writing, I tend to obviously, you can, with any writing you do, you can obviously go back edit, erase, start again, whatever it is you want to do. Um, and so it's easier in that respect. Whereas with a video blog, and the, this particular video blog that I do, one, I don't make any notes at all. Everything you hear me say is from here and straight off the top of there. And it's a challenge. It's a challenge to do that as well. You know, it's to think off the top of your head and f say what's really coming out of your heart. And I think that's the genuine thing I love about doing these video blogs. So... Um, how to be a great mentor. Now, um, in my world, in my definition, my personal definition, there's a lot of overlap between being a coach and being a mentor. I think pers personally, there's, there's, there's very little to distingu distinguish the two except that coaching is more of a career, whereas mentoring is just something you can do on the side of whatever it is you do. You can be a great mentor you know, through your business and to your subordinates or anything like that, whereas coaching is more of a profession. That's the, that's the main difference I wanted to just kind of make clear to people. That's my definition of the difference. However, the skills you utilize in both fields are almost identical. Uh, they're very similar, um, and they both work in exactly the same way. So, first thing I wanted to talk about was in terms of interaction with your mentee. Now, <clears throat> in any scenario, you can choose a mentor, uh, sorry, a mentee, I beg your pardon. If, if someone approaches you and wants you to mentor them in any specific area, for, for me personally, it could be something like comedy, for example, um, or it could be maybe in your business or even a blogging mentee or something like that. Someone who wants to learn from your experience and your valuable knowledge that you have, um, then you know what? I, firstly, I'd say if, you, if someone asks you, definitely do it because it's a very valuable process. It goes both ways. You learn, they learn, and you both grow, and that's important. I think you both, you need to understand that it's, it's a two-way process. It's just not, mentoring is not a one-way street. It's two-way. You're both getting something out of it. So, so if someone does ask you to mentor them, I highly recommend it. So the first thing that I wanted to say was about understanding uh, interaction with your mentee. Now, um, it's important, obviously, to be a great listener, but I want you to get into the, the mentoring role and truly interact. So if they're, ask, if they're saying things, if they're asking you questions, I want you to actually learn to, learn to question them, learn to extract the relevant information and get to the bottom of what they're really saying. You'll notice in conversation with people, you can hear this, they say one thing, but you're actually hearing something else. And that's a kind of a unique skill to have. You, you, try, you actually literally extract what they're really trying to say. They may be you know, using fluffy words about something, but... You capture, you capture the essence of their message, and that's important. It's an important skill. Um, second thing that I wanted to say about the position of being the mentor, I don't want you to hold back. If you're going to be a great mentor, you need to understand where you are powerful, where you have great knowledge, great wisdom, lots to offer, and you mustn't hold back from offering that forward as well. That's really important. You must not be afraid to offer your wisdom, your advice, um, chime in with your information, offering your experience, being constructive, obviously not criticizing as much, but offering those suggestions and feeling free to do it. You know, not just holding back because you think oh, I should just be sitting there listening to someone. No, that's not the way it should work. You should be chiming in there, offering your suggestions and having a great deal of input. Otherwise your mentee is not going to extract anything as valuable from that relationship. So the first two things I mentioned, obviously, is the interaction, understanding the two-way street. The second thing is about, obviously, exchange, uh, sorry, offering the value that you have in terms of your experience, your wisdom, your advice, uh, your stories, uh, your anecdotes, whatever it might be. Make sure you put those in there in order to grow so that they, you both grow as well because you're practicing delivering that message. And they're obviously learning to receive that message and absorb it. Third thing is, and really important, you must challenge your mentee. You must get used to putting them under a bit of pressure. 
assigning them challenges, not homework or anything like that, but real challenges that they must take away and do. Essential. It's an essential part of mentoring that you must do. So whether it be in terms of um, you know something they want to achieve specifically, setting them a deadline or a goal or whatever it might be, but you must push them, you must chase them, you must hold them accountable for whatever you've assigned them to do. Um, and that is the three-step process of being a great, great mentor. So obviously it's the interaction, learning to make sure it's a two-way street. Yeah, it's all well and good being a great listener, yada, yada, yada. I hear that all the time. But I think a lot of people are missing out on the beauty of the exchange of a two-way interaction. And I think that's being lost at the moment. So that's the first thing. The second thing, of course, is being open to offering your advice, your wisdom, your skills, your advice, your whatever it might be, and delivering it to that person as well in a way that they can understand, they can absorb, and, and you can't hold back from doing that. You must be able to feel confident about putting that out there. They may disagree with you. Be open to that as well. If they disagree with your advice or whatever, that's fine. It's not a problem. And of course, the last thing that I mentioned is you must challenge a mentee. If they're going to grow, they need to be challenged. You can't just be um, half asked and just agree with everything that they say or they've delivered or they've done. If they're not delivering, tell them. Say to them, you're not delivering. You've got to try harder. You've got to put in more effort. Or if you really, really want these results, you know, you're not going to do it by just being here. You need to move to here. So you must hold them accountable. So those are my three steps, essential steps, for being a great mentor. Hope you've enjoyed today's video blog, and I'll be back with more video blogs soon.